In this tutorial, you will learn basic usage of Scale Monitor. For this demonstration, we will use Scale Simulator, so it will be easier to show you how to use Scale Monitor. First, let's explain basics about layout. This black window here is Scale Indicator. In the upper left corner, you see Stability Indicator, which is changing when we are changing the weight. So once the weight is unstable like now, you see that stability indicator is still there and once the scale becomes stable again, it changes back to equal sign, which means that the weight here shown here is stabilized. Under stability indicator we have type of weight indicator. G means that this plate weight here is gross weight. If I tear the scale now, you will see that type of weight indicator has changed from G to N. It means that now the displayed weight here is net weight. You also see that the tear value has changed from 0 to the current gross weight. So if I apply more load on the scale now, we see in this main part of the indicator net weight, tear value is here and gross weight is here. So you see all free data about weight. Under scale indicator you see a capacity bar which shows in percentage and in this graph here the capacity used of the scale. In our case we are using 49% of the scale because our scale is set to have maximum at 6200 grams. You can also check this in the menu. You see that maximum is 6200 grams. Below capacity uh, bar you have input fields. I have prepared for this tutorial four fields which are project, sample name, load and note. Under these text fields we have four buttons and as you saw they can be used for tearing the scale, to clear the tear value and to zero the scale. And the first button here of course is the save button to save the wing which we'll be using in a few moments. Below buttons we have an element which is statistics which is showing the number of wings which were stored and also the graph but since we haven't stored any wing yet the statistic is empty. So let's see the last element. In our layout, here is the list of weighings where all the data about the weighing will be stored and shown in this list of weighings. So let us store the first weighing. For project, we will say it's learning. Sample name can be test 1, load will be 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, and note it will be my first weighing with SM. So let's apply now some container on the scale and tear it and add load into the container. When weight is stable we can save the weight. So let's press the button save and you can see in the list of weight that our weight was stored. So we see here the project which we entered is learning, sample name is test, load 1234, the gross weight is this value here, the net weight is displayed here and their value is here. Also there is stored the unit of all this uh, weight information and also date and time. And in the node is stored what we placed, what we entered here. So let's make another weighing and let's say this will be sample name it will be test 2 and this is of course our second wing with scale monitor so let's put on the container on the scale and tear it and now apply some load to it and save the wing now we can see that also the second wing was stored with all the data here and now we can also look at this statistic element where we see that number of wings is now 2 
and here are also calculated minimum, maximum and average for each uh, weight information, so net, gross and tear, and also the lines here are showing our uh, weight values. In this tutorial you have learned basics about Scale Monitor. Please visit our website scale-monitor.com and take a look at knowledge base for further information or follow next video. If you have any questions or suggestions, you are welcome to contact our support team or drop your comment below the video. In order to be up to date with current information about Scale Monitor, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.